Is the Herman Miller Embody Chair worth it? It's an expensive chair, so that's a question that we set out to answer in today's video. The Herman Miller Embody is one of the most expensive ergonomic chairs from one of the most famous brands in the world. But is the chair actually worth the price that Herman Miller charges for it? This is a question that we get from our customers quite frequently because they just want to know, is the chair worth the price? This is a tough question just to answer outright for everyone. So in this video, I'm gonna share the things that I like about the chair, the things that I dislike about the chair, and then just talk about them at the end so that you can hopefully make an informed decision to decide whether or not the Embody is worth it for you. So we'll start with the things that I like about the Embody chair. And the first things that I like about the chair are going to be things that I like about every Herman Miller chair, and that's gonna be the policies that you get when you buy a Herman Miller office chair. When you buy a chair from Herman Miller, it will ship to you free, fully assembled with a 30-day return policy. If you don't like the chair, contact Herman Miller. They'll pay to pick it up and they'll give you a full refund. One thing that's really nice about having the chair shipped fully assembled is that if you do decide to make that return, you do not have to disassemble the chair, spend time taking it apart, buying additional tools to do that, roll it back in the box, and send it back to them. When you buy a chair from Herman Miller, you get the best warranty in the business. 12 years of coverage on everything with the Embody that includes all of the components and the upholstery for the full 12 year period. So you are guaranteed to have one of the highest end chairs on the market for 12 straight years. The next thing that I really like is that this truly is one of the most well-built chairs on the market, receiving one of the highest build quality scores that we've given to any office chair that we have tested. Everything on the Embody is high-end, from the components, to the design, to the unique features that the chair uses, like the pixelated support and the flexible seat and backrest. All of these are going to be features that we only find on the highest-end chairs, and the Embody is no exception. So, while it's high-priced, you are getting one of the best-made chairs in the industry. The next thing that I like about the Embody is going to be the armrests. They are comfortable, softly padded, very large surface area to put your arms on, and they do feature a large height adjustment range and a large width adjustment range. So not quite as adjustable as some of the other arms on the market, but the pads themselves are quite comfortable. The next thing that I'm a fan of is going to be the seat on the Embody. The seat uses the pixelated support design system that is unique to the Embody. It's flexible, it allows you to move in the chair while still being supported in a variety of positions. It has a flexible front edge with seat depth adjustment. So overall, a nice seat package for most people. It is gonna be a little bit on the firm side, but this is pretty common with high-end ergonomic chairs, and this is one of the seats that most of the people in our office did like sitting in. The Embody also tested well in our office for back support. It has a nice natural curve in the lower lumbar area and a really flexible design, one of the most flexible backrests that we've tested, so you can really move and shift and stretch while still being supported by the back. It does not have an independent lumbar adjustment system, but it does have back angle adjustment, which gives you a little bit of an ability to kind of fine tune that back angle and that lumbar support with the Embody. And the last thing that I really like about the Embody is going to be the thing that I like about most Herman Miller chairs, and that is going to be the recline function. Similar to the Aeron, the Embody has one of the nicest recline functions on the market, super smooth, great for those of you that really like to rock back and forth in your chair consistently, great for kicking back and relaxing, just overall one of the most comfortable recline functions out of any office chair that we've tested. So we've covered all the things that I like about the chair. Now we're just gonna to touch on a few things that I don't necessarily like about the chair. The first thing being that the pixelated support system on the seat is not necessarily going to be a good fit for everyone. There were a few people in our office that did not like the seat and it's because they said that they could feel some of the individual nodes as they moved around and they did not find that to be comfortable. The next thing that may be a potential problem for some people is that the Embody does not have any arm pad adjustment. It does have height adjustment and width adjustment, and they are wide ranges, but you're not going to get any tilt, depth, or arm pad width adjustment, which some of you may be looking for for those high intensive tasking applications. If you need those adjustments, unfortunately the Embody is not going to be for you. While the Embody tested well in our office for back support, it does not have any individual lumbar adjustment support systems, which is something that a lot of people do 
find that they really need in an office chair. So if you like to have a separate lumbar height adjustment or lumbar depth adjustment, then you're going to have to look at a different option than the Embody chair. And the final thing that I do not like about the Embody is going to be something that's gonna be a problem for quite a few people and probably the biggest deal breaker for most, and that's going to be the high price point. We're looking at a chair that costs about $1,500 plus, and that's going to be out of the price range for a lot of people, and that's just gonna be something that some people aren't willing to spend. So I've covered the things that I like, the things that I dislike, but I still haven't answered that question, is the Embody chair worth it? Not a simple yes or no. We've covered the things that might be attractive for some, the things that might be deterrents for others. What I can speak on is from a pure value standpoint, the price that you're paying for the chair when extrapolated over a 12 year period because of Herman Miller's fantastic warranty does provide a pretty interesting proposition. You're going to be able to sit in one of the nicest chairs on the market for somewhere between $125 to $150 a year, depending on how you configure the chair. Now, when we break it down to a pure year cost, it becomes very affordable. If we compare that to buying a low-end chair for around that price point that you might have to replace every one or two years, then it becomes a pretty easy decision in terms of an investment standpoint. You could argue that it might be a little bit better to go with a mid-market $500, $600 chair, maybe replace it once or twice in that period. That decision is gonna be up to you. Do you wanna spend a lower amount and try to get more out of the chair, or would you rather be sitting in a high-end chair for the full 12-year period? I can't answer that question for you, and that answer is gonna be different for most people watching this video. I just hope that I've provided you enough information to easily answer that question for you. I tried to do my best to cover as much as I could on the Embody in this video, but if there's something that I missed, make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to get that answered for you. As always, I would super appreciate a subscribe to the channel and a thumbs up. Both of them help us out a ton. And if you've made it this far, I super appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot.